Hello again, this is Mike with Toy Train Tips and Tricks. And if you are a regular viewer of the channel, you will notice right away that something is different here on the layout. And, uh, well, by the way, if you're not a regular viewer, well, why not? All you have to do is press that little subscribe button. That's all you need to do. Um, and you can be a regular viewer. Yeah, it saves you a lot of time and hassle. You see every time we post a new video. But anyway, obviously, we now have blue sky instead of um, brown uh, paneling from 1970 whatever uh, as the background for the layout. Well, the paneling's still there, uh, but I covered it up with this super quick, super easy, and inexpensive backdrop idea. So I was uh, walking around in a... Uh, I first saw this in a Michaels store. Uh, my wife was looking for some cake decorating stuff, and I happened to see these... Um, school bulletin board backgrounds and a lot of different designs and one of them was this blue sky and i thought huh i need to investigate this more so i went online and i found that they have these not only at michael's but also at hobby lobby several different designs i ended up uh choosing mine at hobby lobby they had uh, a few more designs and i liked this sky backdrop better but anyway these uh come in four foot by 12 foot rolls um, and uh, they, they retail for under $10. So if you've priced commercial backdrops, you know that that is a really inexpensive price. And uh, in my case, with the shelf layout, I didn't need anything four feet wide. So uh, by cutting it in half, I now have uh, 24 inches by 24 feet for $10. And uh, that's enough to do my whole layout. So as you see here, <coughs> it uh, it's a pretty effective blue sky now. This is really just the temporary. Um, this took me, I don't know, 15 minutes to put up. And uh, this is just a temporary installation you see up here. I just have it secured with blue tape on top. Uh, yeah, there's the old paneling. Woohoo! Uh, and actually on the bottom, uh, the layout is holding it in place up against the wall. Um, so I will come back later and uh, redo the top with some double-sided tape behind that top seam. And uh, in places on the bottom, I might trim it up and do that if necessary. But uh, this was a really simple process. So I, I started with the roll and uh, then measured out, cutting it in half with a razor knife. Then uh, took one of the rolls. I took the cut end um, and put it under the edge of the layout back there. And so the smooth edge is on top all the way across. Um, and then again, I just secured it with some blue tape. Now so with my shelf layout, most of the layout, there's a gap between the wall and the layout. In a few places, my carpentry was a little too good. And it's right up so you see I cut a little... Uh, uh, seam out there and have it rolled under for right now. I'll come back and trim that up later. Uh, I did no other prep to the walls, you know, other than you know, knocking the cobwebs off. Um, but this is over, you know, the paneling, so uh, it's a not a smooth surface, and uh, the backdrop still hides it very well. Uh, this paper was more robust than I expected it to be. It unrolled very easily. And, uh, and it works very well. So if you need to do a lot of backdrop for uh, not a lot of money, this is a solution. These, again, are bulletin board sheets available at Hobby Lobby, at Michael's, and probably some other craft stores as well. Check them out online and uh, check a design that works for you. And, of course, you know, I can add backdrop buildings and things in front of the sky later, but that looks a lot better than that as my backdrop. So there it is. It's quick. It's easy. And uh, again, if you're a regular viewer, you know that that's what I'm all about, the quick and easy way. So there you go. Instant sky backdrops for your layout. Check them out, and uh, I hope you found this useful. Like it, share it, subscribe it, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. And until then, keep the trains running, and we'll catch you next time on Toy Train Tips and Tricks.